<laughs> Surprise. Do, 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 do. My country, tis of the sweet land of liberty. For the eye. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I almost accidentally texted someone from a college course that I only ever talked to in that college course. Wow. Hi. Pog, wow. Literally. Jordan Ag Business 312. I almost accidentally wow. texted. Pog, pog, wow. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Um Choke, Lysa, Jacob, Direwolf, thank you. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, past bedtime? No, dude. It's only 8.49, actually. Skull Heron, Boy Blevins, Keisha, Malcolm, Cammy, Direwolf. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. you Thanks, Allison. That's really nice. Ooh, late strum. Hey, wow. Anthony. Thanks. Let's go. More desktop. Welcome. Hey, <laughs> wow. Nathan -y. Dude, I don't like what my hair looks like right now. Hey, Ugh, that made it worse. Ew. Wait, why do they look like that? They look stupid? I don't uh, don't answer. Cyan C B Gamer, thank you for the five. Thank you so much. Um guys, I have an idea. I have an idea. Listen to me. Um. Okay. So. Animal Quest. Don't look at this potty pad. It's not very cute. <laughs> There's only two more episodes of Animal Quest, you guys. I Right? I've done 19. Animal Quest is a spotlight on an ambassador we have. There's a possibility that we'll have more ambassadors within the next, like, three, four months. So maybe I'll have a couple more episodes. But as of right now, with the ambassadors that we have, there's only two more animal quests that I can do. The scorpions and the monkeys. Okay? So I need a new series, right? I asked about this in offline chat, in fairness. I was like, hey, I need a new series. Also, by the way, are you thrilled that there's no 20-minute intro? Are you guys happy now? Is this what you wanted? So, um... I need a new series, right? Horizon, thank you for the 18 months. So. The, thank you for the $20. Random. Thank you. No way that space, because I did not tell him he was going live. No way he did this. Oh my god, he's crazy! <laughs> he, how does he know? <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so the Animal Quest does the best when- and I don't want to talk about why, okay? But Animal Quest does the best when I'm full cam, number one. And number two, when uh, we have the animals on screen, right? We literally have academic studies now that say when an animal's on screen, it does better, right? So, how about we take the best parts of Animal Quest and make it into a new series? The best parts, arguably, three, three, three of the, the most effective things, right? One, uh, full cam. Two, an animal the whole time. Full cam the whole time. An animal the whole time. Three, recommendation section. DBC, thank you for the, thank you for the ten months. I am always looking to do more tangible, like... 
here's what you can do. Drag year, thank you for the 13 months. Like, here's what you can do um, to support these animals, right? That's what the recommendation section is for Animal Quest. So, what if we did a new series based on the recommendation section, kind of like a what can you do series. It's done in an enclosure with an animal. So, like, I do one on palm oil and, like, how to avoid palm oil and it's i sit in with the marmosets we have two cams we have one stationary on me full cam and we have flip filming the marmosets the whole time so we can swap between them okay uh also i constantly have assets that i can pull up onto the full kit so like i can pull up bullet notes that pop up next to my head or like a logo or a picture or whatever or a graph that like pops up right so i like get assets prepared to do that. So we do like palm oil and we do it in the marmoset enclosure. We do one on buying shade grown coffee and we do it in the parrot enclosure. We do one on sustainable fashion in the fox enclosure. We do one on beef labels and we do it with Winnie. We do it on uh, egg labels, poultry labels. We do it in with the chickens. You, you see what I'm saying? Oh, makeup is an interesting one. I've never thought about that. I have a lot of male viewers, though. Sounds good. That's what I'm thinking. I'm having trouble seeing the vision. Here's the vision. I get a stool. I paint it a particular color. <laughs> okay? It's purple, right? I bring the stool in w into an enclosure with me. I have a keynote presentation, basically like a TED talk, that I'm prepared to give, it doesn't have to be purple, that I prepare to give full cam in an enclosure. The ambassador comes in through my frame, sometimes I have treats, sometimes they hang out with me, sometimes they're just hanging out in their enclosure. There's a cameraman in the enclosure that's filming them, I'm talking, I'm like, guys, this is why the Amazon rainforest is important, did you know that each large tree can produce up to 10 bathtubs of water every day via evapotranspiration. And then I like show a graphic of like how, what that looks like, like how many trees there are or something. It pops up as like, as an asset on stream, right? And then I'm like, and that was, by the way, not, that's a real fact. Um, and if we cut down all the trees in the Amazon rainforest, that we would experience worldwide drought and worldwide wildfires because of the evapotranspiration not to mention the carbon that would be released, right? And then I show like a graph of like carbon being released. And then I'm like, and if there's that much carbon in the atmosphere, then the oceans are going to absorb more carbon or the, more carbon is going to be dissolved into the ocean that leads to ocean acidification. And then I show coral bleaching pictures, right? And they're just always popping up. Why a stool? Because a stool is, I think, the thing that would make all of the ambassadors the least stressed. I'm not bringing a whole set in there. I can't bring a PC in there. Everybody is just now okay with the backpack and the camera. I can't bring like an armchair in there. So I'm thinking like as small as possible, but recognizable. So it's like, oh, this is for this series. I don't have a name for it yet. You'll have to do a lot more. Wait. You'll have to do a lot more. Okay, yeah. So it sounds like a lot of work, right? That's because it is a lot of work. I'm hoping that it balances out a little bit. Animal Quest is a lot of work, right? But it's a lot of work. It's very research heavy. So it takes me a ton of time to prep, but then I don't really have to rehearse it. I can't remember the last time I rehearsed an Animal Quest, right? This one is gonna have to be very rehearsed and I'm gonna have to know it like very, very well. Um, but a lot of the research is already there because I've done it with Animal Quest. How long will it last? I have seven episodes right now that I think I could do. Also, normal series runs six episodes, but I think it could be a lot more than that, depending on how it does. I'm not talking about the gala. I'm talking about a new series on my channel because Animal Quest only has two more months, two more episodes to do. I don't think that Animal Quest will work anymore. I'm I'm happy with 
having done Animal Quest because it's very education heavy and it's very important to me that I do that and I do that research. But let's be honest, doing a presentation on Twitch via Prezi, like literally doing a class, it's not for Twitch, right? I'm very lucky that people will watch it because they watch me, but it is not, a, it's not the format for Twitch. Um, so I would like to start trying some ones that might work better and bring in new people. Um, but I'm very aware that most people don't watch Animal Quest because they like want to go to class. They watch it because they watch me and I'm doing Animal Quest, which is very, it's great. But I want them to want to watch it too. You know, I want them to like really enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks, Zelly. That's nice. Um, so yeah. I do both. I appreciate it. I know, I know there are some people that actually do like it, but it's not the right format for Twitch. I've known that for a long time. I will not wrestle an alligator. I will not. A remote. Yay. Super excited. Thank you. Wow. Uh, Jaded, thank you for the prime. How long will the episodes be? Uh, the dream is an hour. I d I'm going to be honest, I can't do, I can't, I don't think I could do two hours. Like, I don't think I could plan assets out for two whole hours of talking. It's like a two hour long TED talk, you know, it would just be, it's just too hard. Um, so. Yeah. What fish would you get in the new fish tank? That is a question to ask Lindsay next time you see her on stream. When is the first episode? Uh, probably not for at least another month. I need to like iron this out. This is just the, just the best idea I have so far. Need control of the assets with, uh, yeah, funny that you say that. Uh, yes, we know. <laughs> We've already talked about that. We talked about that today. What the heck? What the heck? That was weird. My phone's panicking. It's panicking. It's panicking. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Everything's okay. Question, legitimate question. Danny and I are, uh, Danny's working on a video. Would it be difficult to connect to another conservationist? Same as Buster's do a guest star talking more about them. Um, I doubt that you would, you'd seen any of it. I used to do a podcast called the conservation cast and I would do a video call and I would talk to biologists, conservationists, ecologists, and it was great for me. And I loved it because I'm super interested in talking to them and I got a lot of really great connections with them. But, uh, it was, yeah, it was not the format for Twitch. It's, it's, uh, for all the content that I've ever done on Twitch beyond singing. No, I think for all the content I've ever done on Twitch, it performed the worst in terms of viewership. It's just too dense for this demographic. Um, so it just, it just didn't work. Um, that's why I switched from doing the conservation cast to, um, conservation uncharted which is where i go like i travel to an organization and i am outside with them and we're like on a whale watching boat or we're like on whatever um because that's easier for them to watch and more interesting showing another marmoset sanction oh i don't know that would take a lot of vetting it would make, i feel like that would make me anxious <laughs> it could be cool though um Will you shave your goat's horns since they keep hurting people? No. No. Next Uncharted when? I don't have one planned. I have several uh, invitations to cool places. Um, but nothing planned. I don't know how much methane Winnie produces every day. I'm sure you can find that stat, though. How's the beetle battle scar? I'm wearing long pants, so I can't really show you. Let's see. Beetle 
Oh, oh yeah, there's no way. My pull these all the way up. Birds and bees streams. Uh, Jimmy, thank you. Uh, I would like to. There, there's so much work. Um, it's it's literally just a second animal quest, but harder. <laughs> um, I would like to though. But I definitely couldn't do something like that like once a month, you know. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Wow. That's a lot of bits. Nice, Clara. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. Thank you for the 22 months. Um, how am I supposed to work and do a full-time internship that doesn't pay? The animal field is rough. Ah, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's a really, really unfortunate, unfortunate part of uh, wanting to work in animal care. Is, yeah, a lot of the stuff is unpaid when you need... You need experience to get a job, but all the experience is unpaid, so you can't do it without having a job. So what are you just supposed to not do it? It really sucks. It's it's a really it's a lot of industries, I guess. There are some organizations that do pay interns though. Um depends on what you want to do, but there are people are getting better about that, I'd like to think. Would you ever travel to Africa for gorilla conservation? Yeah, um, I know um, folks from Diane Fossey out there. Um, and there's there's an invitation there for me to go. We've talked about it. I cannot stream from there. I, I Look, I get like, maybe it's possible for me to stream from there, but I tried to stream from Ireland and I told myself after trying to do that, I was like, I will never try to stream internationally again. It was just not worth it. It made the experience not fun. It was so stressful. It took so much to like get it figured out. I don't want to try to do it in Africa. I just don't want to. So I would have to be really prepared to like vlog it, but I don't know. I just don't don't want to do that. I also really hate traveling. And I know that's unfortunate as a conservationist and a content creator, but I really, I really hate it. Just like as a person, I think. Um. They should have learned when they came. <laughs> That's funny. I could do one. I could do one episode. They would know nothing. They would all know nothing. I would like to do more plant and tree conservation. It would be very cool. Is this live? Yeah. Why you sat here? What's going on? I'm working. <laughs> Does subbing here go to you or Alveus? Uh, subbing here goes to me. Um, Alveus has its own channel. Alveus Sanctuary on Twitch. If you want to go sub over there, you can. Um, nice. Thanks, Meg. So yeah, that is my current idea. Um. I was going to say something I forgot. No, I think that's fine. People ask me a lot about Urban Rescue Ranch, right? I like I like Ben a lot. Um, I have met him. We talk. We exchange ideas. Uh, he is absolutely somebody that loves wildlife. And so we're we're similar in that way. People ask all the time if we're going to collab um, and we've talked about it uh and it's but probably not we we both love wildlife and we both love conservation but we both we just do it in such different ways uh, i think to the point where it wouldn't make sense to collab you know um but uh i know that he loves wildlife we just we have very different approaches to education and you know how we do things but it's all love and respect. Like, he really, he is my friend. Um, but yeah, we're just, we just do things very differently. You know what I mean? Nobody go clipping and shipping that, okay? That uh, includes my editors, by the way. Don't you dare. <laughs> my editors got me into beef with Coyote Peterson, okay? I don't need to get into beef with Uncle Ben. All right? I don't need his army coming after me. Um, I, <laughs> I got into beef with Coyote Peterson because... 
I said like, I don't like the way he clickbaits or like, I, I don't like that he instills fear in animals that already have a bad rep. And then Coyote Peterson was like, you need to watch my videos. And I was like, I have, <laughs> it don't matter. Okay. Because, because the amount of impressions that a thumbnail gets is nowhere near the amount of views that a video gets, uh, let alone retention for that video and what they're actually learning, you know? Um, so that's just, yeah, that's my argument. Round two, Coyote Peterson drama. Uh, yeah, can we not though? I'm good, I'll pass on that. I'm gonna pass on that. <laughs> yeah, Satan, that's none of my business. <laughs> when he, Farfetch is, he's on mobile. I don't know who that is on TikTok or YouTube. What about us? Didn't you disable clips? Aren't they disabled? Aren't they just, they're sub only, aren't they? What about us? What about our buddy, 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 I think the clips are sub only. I think we turned them off for a while uh, because they were remarkably cringe. And then we put them back on sub only so that my uh, editors could clip. It was a pain for them to not be able to clip. And because subs can clip because the ideal is that they're not clipping and shipping. And if they do, we just ban them. <laughs> it's relatively easy. Well, sp were spiders ever scary to you? Mm, no, I was not- I didn't used to be so down to like pick them up and I didn't used to be so like, oh, I love spiders, they're so cute. I just didn't care. Now I love them, but no, in college and stuff, I wasn't like, look at him. Our friend. Do, 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 do. CS2 with Forsen. ER? Oh, good luck. Have a good night. Speaking of bugs, guys, Allison is uh, our resident entomologist. She's on our advisory board. So she's the one that we message all the time if we have questions about our bugs, if you guys didn't know that. Now you do. Big fan. Big fan. Sick. Big spiders are actually scary. Some people think spiders are scary. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We get an ant colony? Probably not. Probably not. Um, the collabs doing well from a conservation standpoint. Uh, the collabs are doing great. Um, every collab that we do, whew, space, correct me if I'm wrong, but gener very, very generally speaking, not literally speaking, uh, the collaborator gets like twice the amount of views that they normally would or what their average is. So number one, it's like a good incentive for people to come here and we're teaching a lot of people at once. Um, number two, uh, it's a brand new audience and I get to do the same program that we all know and love. Georgie, you know how, you know how pregnancy test works? You know how they used to dip it, dip it? It's all the same, but it's to a brand new audience and it's thousands of people. So every time it's just, we're teaching so many people, uh, even though you guys have all heard it before. Um, so I think they're so important. I will not stop doing them. I do need to schedule one for September. I don't have one for September. Any, any, any requests? Um, I know we talked about Nick and Milena. It is, I don't know. I think it's, I don't, I want to wait until it gets cooler. Guys, we're going to have to catch Hassan when he comes out to Texas anyway. He's not just going to come out here to do an LVS collab. Hmm. Extra Emily was a great club. Squeaks was a great club. Is 
Is Trihex in Austin? I actually don't know where he's from or where he lives. I've never... Mm, no, I feel like I have met him in person. Have I met Trihex? He's in Austin for a month. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Get Schlatt. Schlatt uh, came here. Schlatt filmed a video here a while ago, but it hasn't gone out yet. But it wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't an educational collab. I, it was, <laughs> Schlatt and I had to work together to come to a middle ground on, I was like, yes, you can come here. But they can't be props. I was like, yes, you can come here, but I have to do some education. Yes, you can come here, but like I have to say this and this and this. Um, and so it was a it, it was an interesting filming experience. I love Schlatt. He's he's really, really wonderful. Um But uh we'll see how that video comes out. <laughs> we'll see how that video comes out. What about the Botez ladies? Botez, they've, they've been out here for a collab already. So, yeah. I've never met Fan Fan. I, I don't think. Oh, God. I hate saying that on stream because then then, it, then people like sit to the streamer watches it and it's like, oh, she doesn't remember. I don't freaking remember any. Okay, I don't know. I met a lot of people at the streamer awards. Maybe I have. Maybe I have met Fan Fan. I don't remember. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is like me getting super defensive and apologizing and I like haven't met her. Chaos, thank you for the 500 bits. Um... This is, yeah, I'm a jackass. Okay, I'm really sorry. Point Crow, Point Crow's been here. Soda would be a fever dream. Soda's not coming out here. Soda's not coming out here. Yeah, he's not coming out here. <laughs> Could ask him. What are your thoughts on E Rob's performance today? I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Did you guys see Brit find that opossum? <laughs> Dude, Brit found an opossum and E Rob called me uh, and then sent me a picture and he's like, Brit found this. The thing about opossums, right? It's, it's so funny, and it's so funny for Brit because I genuinely don't even know how she caught it because it was healthy. Like, it looked fine to me. Um, and, like, I don't know how she... It must have, like, had its mouth open, like, hissed her or whatever, and she's like, oh, I just did like a baby. <laughs> people, people... For, this is not a shot at Brit, right? People do this all the time. People forget that, that baby animals exist in the wild, right? Um, people see a baby anything. This happens with deer all the time. People kidnap fawns constantly right because adult deer will leave their fawns under a tree or something for the day like for the whole day and that because and they'll come back at dusk and dawn to take care of it someone comes across a fawn in the forest they're like oh this is my bambi moment let me kidnap it because it's an orphan right that happens all the time they get brought into the rehab center so much wildlife rehab centers um with opossums they're marsupials. So they are born in a pouch. And then when they're big enough to crawl out of the pouch, they crawl out of the pouch onto the mom's back. And then they all hold on to the mom's back. And once they get too big to all stay on the mom's back, they start falling off. And when they fall off, the mom just keeps walking <laughs> with the rest on her back. <laughs> and then that one, that is how they, that's how they wean. Okay. That's how they, then they're done. Then, then they're just, Free, wow, cool, thank you for the prime. Then they're ready to go. But they've had this advantage of, like, being on the mom's back and, like, seeing what to eat and, like, where to hide and what to be afraid of, right? But once they fall off, they're on their own. And so once they all fall off, they're on their own. But any <laughs> chicken walk anyways, literally. So that happened with the opossum that Brit found, but probably, like, a bit before she picked it up. What's the difference between a possum and an opossum? A uh, possum... Uh, is Australian, an Australian marsupial. It's all gray. An opossum is uh, North American's only marsupial. The uh, ones with white and like whiskers and yeah, but they are different. Uh, some people use them interchangeably. They shouldn't. 
they're, they're completely different species. Look. Check this out. This is a... See, they literally... Oh my god. This is an opossum, damn it. Even Google's lying to you. This is... Look. This is a... This is a possum on the right, and that's an opossum on the left. You see what I mean? One's Australian, one is North American. Um, by the way, just a fun fact for you, if you're looking for one. Um, a bunch of people were freaking out when Brit brought the opossum in because they were like, you're, it's going to give Emmy rabies or you're going to get rabies. Opossums can't get rabies. Uh, their body temperature is too high to host the rabies virus. So a lot of people th hate opossums because they're like, oh, rabies, rabies vector. Raccoons are rabies vectors. Opossums are not. Um, also, opossums eat a ton of ticks. And so they're actually really great to have around. Is it that their body temperature is too low? I thought it was too high. Is it too low? Okay, too low. Pardon. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's been a while since I've done a wildlife rehab program. <laughs> Native wildlife program. Too low to host the rabies virus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gautam, Gautama, thank you. Um... So yeah, there's a fun fact about opossums. Um, I spiraled a couple days ago thinking about deforestation. You want to hear about it? Are you in school studying wildlife? No. I'm 25. I've graduated. I studied uh, agriculture in college. So I spiraled because... <clears throat> Wow. Justin, Topic. thank you for the four months. What sunscreen do you use since you're outside a lot? I use sunbum outside. But that's mostly because I just like the way it smells. I don't know anything about any sunscreen ever. The Amazon rainforest. <laughs> okay. Let's use the Amazon rainforest as an example, right? The Amazon rainforest is twice the size of India. Okay. It's massive. Uh, huge. Right? We've lost 20% oh, wow. of it in the last 20 years. Couple. Thank you so much. Um... The Amazon is home to a ton of plant species, right? And a ton of large trees. What I know about trees and what you guys probably also know about trees is trees sequester carbon, right? There's carbon sequestered in our forests and there's carbon sequestered in our oceans, which means that it is in the ground. It is not in the air. If it's in the air, it's atmospheric carbon. It's carbon dioxide. You know what's crazy? I said, do you want to hear about my spiral on deforestation? And like 600 people left. Why don't you want to hear about this? Okay, so anyway, carbon sequestered into the ground, right? So when you cut down trees, it releases sequestered wow. carbon, which is tragic. Thank you for the four months. Um, because then it's in our air. Carbon in the air, bad, because greenhouse gas. Wow. Rising global temperatures. Spiraling Maya. Always knew you could throw a pigskin far. Good luck in the NFL draft. Definitely a third round quarterback pick emo. Thank Smile. you. Thank you. Greenhouse gas bad because greenhouse gas here, heat reflect here, hit greenhouse gas, come back down, hotter. Okay? That's number one. So it's going to get hotter, right? Because we, we cut down trees and then carbon dioxide is released in the atmosphere. We know this, right? You guys know this? Makes sense. The other thing about trees is that they evapotranspire, transpire, evapotranspire. A large tree in the Amazon can do 10 bathtubs every 24 hours of evapotranspiration. They put a ton of moisture into the air. So much moisture into the air. Okay? So we cut down trees. There's also less moisture in the air. There's the air is dry and it's hot. Wildfires. Not just in the Amazon. Everywhere. Drought everywhere. Higher global temperatures. Wildfires everywhere. Everything burns. Okay? Also... There's more carbon dioxide in the air, right? So then more carbon dioxide is dissolved into the oceans. You know what happens when carbon dioxide is dissolved into the oceans? It leads to ocean acidification. The oceans become more acidic. 
So then coral bleaching happens, mass die-offs in the ocean, our ocean systems, dead. So the oceans die, there's fires everywhere, drought everywhere. Opossums are my homies and greenhouse gases. Talk to them. Thank you for the five dollars. Um, and then all of us just die. Not to mention, when you cut down all those trees, species are dying off. You know what happens when a species dies off? Another species dies off. You know what happens when another species dies off? All the species that are inter interconnected with that species, they die. And then all of those species, they die, right? They're all connected. You don't just lose a species. It ruins everything. So anyway, there's my conservation spiral of the week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to that first time chatter that just asked about that when I had this whole thank you. Dion, respect, but honestly, maybe it's for the best. I'm honestly, I give up. <clears throat> I don't care, actually. I feel fine about it. Marcus. Wow. Oh, that was a super chat. Fen Layen, thank you for the five months. So in other words, we're fucked. Uh, in other words, I have a lot of work to do uh, in my lifetime and a lot more than I thought I did. Never back down, never what? Hmm. <laughs> Never give up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was my, uh, any collabs in September? We're talking about it. I got to reach out to someone because I don't have one planned. Um, don't be a crow sec, you know? Y yep. You're right. Mine needs to have a TED talk. You know, fun that you say that because the reason that I had this spiral in the first place is because I was planning my keynote for the gala. We have the Rainforest Gala on October 1st. Cutie and I are back to our co-hosting shenanigans. Okay, we're hosting a, the gala on October 1st. People say bug gala because I said that because that's what I pitched to Cutie at the beginning. She said that people wouldn't get behind it if it was the bug gala. She said maybe next year. The first year it has to be the rainforest because everyone loves the rainforest already. So we can't do the bug gala. So it's just going to be the rainforest gala. But it's October 1st. Cutie and I are co-hosting. It's a red carpet um, and it's a giant charity fundraiser. I am doing a keynote presentation and Dion is making an animation and it's actually so it's hard as fuck guys i wrote the script for it we have a whole animation that plays behind me while i'm talking I saved three banana thank you today, Maya, wicked soybean thanks for doing that on behalf of the bugs um i wrote the whole script it's sick there's an animation that's gonna play behind me and match up with what i'm saying it's gonna be sick uh, small silver lining. I believe deforestation is down 30% year over year in Brazil since he left office and we cracked down on exploiting the rainforest, but yeah, overall 20 years. It's a very grim. Uh, to, yeah, I mean, as of the beginning of 2022, we were doing five football fields every minute. Never give up. Hey. What I was saying, I don't know why that happened. I'm kind of pissed off right now. As I was saying, man, that's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, as of the beginning of 2022, we were doing five football fields every minute um, of deforestation in the Amazon. So if that's down 30%, uh, I am stressed, but we'll see. Lauren, thank you for the prime. Please refresh. I'm so sorry. Minute? Yeah. U.S. metrics? Oh, I'm sorry. Five football pitches. 
every 60 seconds. <laughs> do y'all not do minutes over there? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's cringe as hell. Cringe as hell. Okay? Cringe as hell. How is that allowed? Because the Amazon rainforest is shared by several countries that are trying to use its resources to benefit their economy as they have to. It's what they have to do. But there's lots of different countries and they're not working together to save it. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm going to talk about it a lot at the gala. You'll see. Oh, yes, 100 yards. Oh, shoot. Wait, that doesn't... That actually... I actually thought you were trying to help, and I was like, wait. A yard is... Wow. Two yards is... Taller than me. But not by a ton. Poor people looking for options. The Amazon is complicated. The Amazon is so complicated. That's why I shut my mouth. Okay? It's, it's, it's not... You can't just fault the people that are doing the deforestation. It's, it's a much, much larger systematic problem. And I will talk about that at the gala as well. You can't blame the people that are on the ground where conservation needs to happen for doing what they need to do to survive. How many animal species are in the rainforest? The Amazon rainforest houses 10% of our biodiversity. That means one in every 10 species on the planet is in the Amazon rainforest. Incredibly biodiverse. A football field is bigger than a hand egg field? What the hell is a hand egg? What the hell is that? NFL? Football? It says I have zero viewers. Are you guys bots? Be honest. Did you talk to the guy who's talking at the gala too? Cutie wanted this guy to, to, to do a keynote at the gala and she was like, can you look into him? Can you DM him? And I did that and he lives in the fucking Amazon rainforest. The, the man, he, he's in the Amazon rainforest now. He lives in there. So I was like, I don't think he's coming. <laughs> to LA. <laughs> I don't think he's coming. Um, he's very cool though, and he's, he is a great speaker. I did, I did look into him. He seems like the real deal. Uh, but yeah, he is, uh, he's a little far, a little far away. Distemper and raccoons at work. What should I do? Uh, probably call animal control. Wow. JP Pollock, thank you for the 18 months. Um, if you don't want to do animal control right away, you could call, you could call, um, why am I blanking on the name? Uh, you could call, you could call a wildlife rehab center. They might be able to direct you. Why is the, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. I've never... I don't recall ever encountering an animal with rabies. No. Stop drinking. Speaking of which. I'm gonna start. I went down to the studio to uh, bring up a beer. Ta da! Right. JP Pollock, thank you for the 18 months. Hot. 
or er, cold. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't drink this. This is not hot. It was cold and it's uncomfortably cold. <laughs> I can smell it. It's the vibes are in the air from this beer. No orange. I don't have I have tangerines. <laughs> I don't want to peel a tangerine because it hurts my fingernail. Wow. <laughs> Kiki, thank you for the 13 months. Use a spoon? I don't want to wash a spoon. I don't have a dishwasher. God, you're a p you know what? I'm gonna say it. I need to take it out of my vocabulary as well, but I'm pretty sick of people using <laughs> the colloquial term for female genitalia as an insult, okay? I think it's cringe. I think it's dumb. I think that we should stop saying pussy. That's how I feel. <sighs> Delicious. What should we say instead? Big baby. Big stupid baby. <clears throat> While we're on the train of of confronting you guys, saved by the bell. Three, four percent in the last thirty-four percent in the last six months. Really, APnews.com. Hmm. Um. I changed my mind. Never mind. What are the ferrets up to right now? I only have one ferret right now. Um, I got my ferret when they were adults. And uh, Newt died at uh, seven years old, which is relatively old for a ferret. Their, their lifespan is six to seven. Now I have Mushroom, um, and he's doing great. He runs this... Uh, they had that cage back there, but now, um, now he has the whole room. Because I wanted to give him as much enrichment as possible because they, they do, uh, they don't do well living alone. Like, you should always have two ferrets. But the other thing about me, I, I don't want to get another ferret when I have one that's a senior right now. Because then I'm going to get in a perpetual cycle of having ferrets for the rest of my life. You know? Um, <laughs> I don't want to be in an infinite ferret cycle. So I only have him... His, he will probably only live another year, if that, because he's old, too. Um, so I try to give him as much enrichment as possible. So he has a ball pit in here. He has, like, that tunnel. That's what I tripped over. Um, and he has an eight-foot by eight-foot enclosure now because I just potty pad this entire room. So he has the run of the whole room. Um, and he has three-story... Here, look. This is his... This is... My closet, I ripped out that door, and I, I made it... I like put those shelves in there. I put the ramps in there. Um, I made it so that they have three layers. Uh, but then I just took the door off and now he has the whole room. So he's in retirement. Right now he's sleeping. You wanna see? Let's see if I can do this without waking him up. I bet I can't.
They sleep 18 hours a day. <laughs> it's a hard day's work. Wow. You should stream more. Thank you for the nine months. No. <laughs> Race Cirrus, thank you for the tier one. I can't find the bit of Nikki at LVS. Nikki. Not LVS. Fuck. Oh! She did come. Here. That's right. What blue moon? What? What do you mean? It's just a normal one. Heard of a fish fly. I have not. Now it's nearly 4 a.m.? No, it's not. It's 9.40 p.m. Actually. I don't have another guest lined up. I need to get one for September. Thank you for the bits! Hello. Their larvae live for years. The adults only live seven days. What?! For why? <laughs> That's crazy. It looks like one liter beer. What? No, it's it's so small. This is how many fluid ounces is in a normal beer? I actually have no idea. Twelve. Twelve fluid ounces. Can you do ASMR? No. Did you do an interview with Colin and Samir? Who are Colin and Samir? That's crazy, Allison. What are you guys talking about? Are you okay? I don't even get it. It doesn't sound like... <coughs> it doesn't sound like a joke. I don't get it. I don't get it. Alexa! Arm? I armed my house with guns. Wow. <laughs> Mold, thank you for the eight months. How many guns do you have? I'm not going to answer that question because then it wouldn't be a fun secret. <laughs> Are you doing another Halloween event? No, uh, mega lol. Do you have them for the animals? No, I have them for me, smile. Dude, why are my bangs like this? This is the worst day of my life. Your guns pink? No, they're not. I don't have any pink guns. That I will admit to here, and I, it will not be a surprise. I don't have any pink guns. Yeah, those bangs are busted up for real. Okay. That's okay. I kind of wish you didn't say that. Um, because you didn't really you really didn't need to say it. I could go like redo them, I guess. <clears throat> Get Alex? Is Alex gonna be in Austin soon? Cause that 
is the one. If she's going to be in Austin. I'm a big fan. It's in my eye. Do what you got to do. See that one hair? Look at him. Where is he going? Where is he going? Dude, I need a freaking... I need a comb. Sharp hair. Please get a brush. No, we're gonna have to get up and go get one, dude. Meepo Pog, wow! Maya Heal. This is a disaster. Yo. I'm going to say this one time for the kids in the back. Guys, the amount of people that come in here and they're like, the mustache, 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 or like genuinely like 12 years old. It's so weird. Like, why do they get so crazy about like, about, like what? It never ends. It's also, it feels like it's a relatively new thing. Now, I feel like I've just started noticing it in the past, like, few months. People get so upset when women have hair. I'm going to tell you something. I wish I have a natural wow. unibrow, and Any I plucked the bejesus out of it when I was... Yes, we are going to do a reef tank. Um, I plucked the bejesus out of it when I was in middle school, high school, because I was so embarrassed, because uh, people would make fun of me. People being boys, for the record. Not to single anyone out. Um... I wish I still had it. <laughs> I do. I wish I still had it because <laughs> I would get five times the interaction because men just lose their minds if there is if you have any sort of hair that you should not have, according to them. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, it's rough. You can just grow a mustache and they can. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate the compliment. Uh, this is about as good as it gets, uh, but yeah, at least I'm not trying to grow run to grow one, and you are embarrassing, <laughs> weak, skill issue. This is me not even trying. You should be a lumberjack for Halloween. <clears throat> yeah, pretty jacked. Be pretty down. Are you a lightweight drinker? Yes. You gotta work on those biceps? Excuse me. I am jacked. Meepo Pog, wow. Look it. Poggies, hi Maya, how are you? <laughs> Mad Max, thank you. Uh, reef tanks. One of our animal care staff is getting her master's in the conservation of marine predators, um, and she's going to do it as a project for school. So we are set. Thank you. That, that's, that's cool. Um, do, 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 do. Oh. Ba -ba Shark. Also, everyone freaking out behind the windows gotta gotta chill out. One, uh, my house is armed with guns, and two, <laughs> I have dogs. Um, so it's okay. But everyone hates people do hate this window. I know that as well. I know people don't like the window. First time chatter, welcome. Meepo Pog, wow. Arofia. My cow neighbors visited today. Did you guys see that? That's Oro? I've never read Oro's full name. Sorry for saying your full name. It's very formal. Degore Day. Thank you for the prime. Um, did you guys see my Instagram story? My neighbors came to visit today. He's on my Instagram story. What was on your toast? Plant-based butter. <laughs> that is all. He? A male? 
um, is a steer. A longhorn. Yeah. What the? What's your favorite plant-based powder? I don't know what the one in my fridge is called and I don't want to go get it, but the package is yellow and it's square-shaped. It has white leaves on it. Does that help you? Is his name actually Henry? I made it up when I was recording the video. There's like literally a hundred cattle. No, I don't know which one that is. I'm so sorry. Earth Balance! That is what it is! It is Earth Balance. Thank you. It's Earth Balance. It's my favorite plant-based butter. <laughs> Why don't you have a curtain? I do! But that would be so ugly. I don't want to put the blinds down. Ew. Also, why would I put the blinds down when there's no sun to keep out? It's too spooky? No, it's not. It's literally fine. The cows can see in? Oh. No, 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 no. Do, do, do. <coughs> huh. Can we look at TikTok today? No. Wait, I'll show you one. Like, literally only one. Just because I want to. I'm telling you, a crow just landed on top of my... Uh, there's a crow on top of my truck. Whoa. I'm telling you, a crow just landed on top of my truck. There's a crow on top of my truck. Whoa. I'm telling you. This is so funny. Oh my god. So funny. Why does he sound like that? I don't know. It's just what he sounds like. I do react to all my TikTok likes on Patreon. If you uh if you want to go see them there, they're over there. They're over there. Um I was told birds aren't real. I don't know where that came from. I really don't. And I also don't really get it, if I'm being honest. But I go with the joke or whatever, I guess. They're drones, government drones, paid for by the government. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, we give our government <laughs> everything, including our freaking fingerprints. What else? <laughs> Why would they need fake drones, too? They have it all. I don't know about you, but my government literally tells me uh, what I can do with my actual physical body. <laughs> Why would they also need fake drones to spy on me? They have complete control over everything that I do and everything that I am. So, why would it matter? Madonna's, thank you. Wish Maya were here today? What do you mean? I'm fake. The government won't even let me pee inside my own house. Okay, it's it's not a federal permit to get a septic system. Technically, it's with the county, but like, 
it's still the government, right? It's all the same, isn't it? It's all the same. Wow. Sage, thank you for the 18 months. Wow. Thank you so much. Um, it's to distract us from the birds. Okay. Are you still taking care of your neighbor's animals? No, I'm not. Um, I do see my neighbor relatively often. Actually, uh, last week I got a call that people couldn't reach him, and so I had to go check on him. And I was like, so it was awful. It was awful, but he was fine. He was literally just in his garden. He like left his phone on the charger. And I walked up and he's like, oh, what a fun surprise. And I was like, dude, <laughs> what the fuck? Because <laughs> like, I'm like, I didn't know he was out there. And I'm like searching his house. Okay. I was searching his home and he wasn't in there. It was not okay. It was like not chill. I'm like in tears and he's just gardening. And I was like, please don't do that. <laughs> please <laughs> keep your phone on you. Thank you. Um, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, it was really, it was, it was not chill at all. It's not chill. Um, thanks. That's nice. Pog, wow. Home invader? Pog, no, it's fine. I can go in there. Olivia, thank you so much. Um, he's chill with me going in there. It's just, yeah. It was just not chill. <laughs> not super chill. You remind me of a gun use bird drones the other thing that's scary about my neighbor's place is like people i can go in there on my own but most people cannot like if emergency services or something had to get in there like they're not they, they don't get past his dogs like there's just no way um <laughs> uh so yeah i don't know kind of makes me nervous But we'll see. Then I went to damn bam I had another spiral that I really want to talk about right now, but I also feel like I should save it for the podcast. I feel like I shouldn't talk to you about it. The essence, though, you can hear me talk about it. I don't mind about it. But the essence is that uh, oh, wow. smart. I'm scared of my favorite app being a propaganda machine that's the short version and i'm scared of social engineering and uh, i'm not talking about pocket frogs <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about a tick <laughs> that's what i'm talking about and i've gone down a spiral and i'm i'm doing actual research and reading things and listening to podcasts and i will have a whole report on wine about it to tell you why I think these things because I've been getting some weird stuff in my for you page and I have a timeline over the past several months in succession of of what I'm seeing on my for you page and what I think it is trying to make me into and has almost made me into by the way it's the scariest part it has almost been successful okay so it's really freaking me out it's really freaking me out don't say that okay also by the way you guys not that it matters because none of y'all are going to get canceled ever because you have that luxury. But Schizo is not going to be chill in like a year from now, if if that. That emote's kind of crazy. Like, it's kind of not chill. Like, it's- it, you shouldn't use it. Chaotic, thank you for the 11 months. Okay, all right, well, I'm sorry, you know what? I can't control what you do, okay? Just telling you. You're gonna get canceled, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Twitter would not like it today, actually. Is TikTok making you say this? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how much TikTok is making me say. Probably a lot, okay? It's probably a lot of it. 
Me, that thing that I just said earlier about birds and like the government having control over me anyway, let's be honest, I consume a lot of TikTok, okay? It's not looking good for me. Not looking good. Don't have a timer on that app? No, I don't. I have a timer on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. I haven't had the Facebook app for a very long time. What happened to parental control? I still have parental control. Controls. Controls. And it still has absolutely bugged my phone, by the way. <clears throat> I put parental controls on my phone to put timers on my app so that I don't doom scroll on, like, Twitter. And I put a content restriction on Reddit, right? Specifically, Reddit, right? And it's a there's a bug in it. So you're supposed to be able to open the website if you can put in the passcode. So I have a passcode that obviously a parent did make. I made for myself. So I can put it in. But if you put in the passcode, it crashes Safari. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to, if you put in the passcode, it's supposed to let you open the web page. But there's a bug, so every if I actually try to access Reddit, it crashes Safari. So when I tell you I haven't reviewed Reddit since I went, I put this, put these parental controls on my phone a few days before I left for California to go see my family and see Cutie for the Taylor Swift concert. When I tell you I have not looked at Reddit since then, I mean, I mean, I have not been able to access Reddit since <laughs> before I left for California. So I have no idea what y'all are in on or what you've seen because I haven't seen any of it. I literally can't access it. And unfortunately or fortunately enough, I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> I don't know how to go take it out to like take off the content restriction. I don't know how. I don't know how I did it in the first place. So I would have to go to space and be like, space, can you take off this content restriction on my phone? And I don't want to do that because I don't want that for me. And also that's embarrassing. So I won't do that. Ask my mom. My mom would not know how to do that. Just get the app. I've never used the Reddit app in my life. Can you believe that? <laughs> I've never had YouTube Studio to be able to check how my videos are doing. Or like, YouTube Studio. There's YouTube, the app where you can watch videos. There's YouTube Studio where you can like, look at how your videos are doing. I've never had YouTube Studio and I've never had Reddit, like the app. I've only ever opened it in Safari on my phone. And I can genuinely count on both hands the amount of times in my life that I've opened Reddit on a desktop. It's harder for me to read on a desktop. I've only ever opened it in Safari on my phone. <laughs> really? Yes, <laughs> I swear. Yeah, I never, I just don't. Because the other thing about a desktop is I only use desktop to work. I never sit at this... This computer is off unless I'm live or filming wine about it. I don't use this PC ever. I only use the PC in the studio and I'm not going to be scrolling through Reddit in the studio. I'm working in the studio. I don't use that for like personal like scroll or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just don't use a computer. I've said this before. I feel like people knew I didn't use a computer. I don't know how. I really just don't. I use my phone and like a computer for just work like emails and stuff some half the people are calling me old and some half the people are calling me a zoomer so i don't really know what to make of that i'm just gonna go with them somewhere in between where do you play starfield then hot take i hate starfield I hate Starfield. You know what? I hate it. Because... I'm not gonna tell you why. 
It fucks with my viewership. There. That's why. I hate Starfield because it fucks with my viewership right now. And in a week, it won't, and then I won't care. But right now, I hate Starfield. Hey, wow. Dingus, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you for being honest. Guys, if I'm being honest, I don't know what Starfield is. I think it's a shooter. I think it's a shooter in space. Where you're floating around. That's what I imagine Starfield no. to be. I don't know. I think it's a first person shooter where you're floating around in space. Shooting people. Essentially? Good. Hey. I'll take it. Like Skyrim, Skyrim, but space shooter. <sighs> the only thing I know about Skyrim is the guy I had a crush on in middle school played it. Middle school. Skyrim's been around a while, huh? Wow. Twenty-two. Kitchen sink. Thank you for the twenty-two months. Two thousand eleven. So you hate Skyrim too? Skyrim, I don't think it's ever affected my viewership. <laughs> so, so I have no feelings about Skyrim. If I'm being honest, I just, I don't care <laughs> about Skyrim. It's still going strong, though. Thoughts on Minecraft? Minecraft is good. Minecraft is a good game. Accessible, easy peasy, uh, never produces any drama, ever just so wholesome. Just such a chill game where you just, where you just, you know, collect dirt and wood. That's all. Thoughts on Putt Putt Saves the Zoo? Excellent. Spider or something on the floor? Where you're floating around. That's what I imagine Starfield to be. I don't what know. What earth was that? That's huge. That's not a spider. That's not a spider. I was gonna say, I was like, oh, I know what that is. Because I have a harvestman that's been living in here. Look down here. Where you're floating around. That's what I imagine Starfield to be. I don't know. I think it's a. I want to make sure my mouse is in his enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> that looks huge. Look, it also, it could be a cricket. Okay, I can't move the camera up. Let me make sure my mouse is in play. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Are you in here? Bagel White is in his enclosure. Bagel White's in his enclosure. Does it something? Maybe it was a big cricket. Hello? Hello? I don't know. I don't see anything. I think it's probably a cricket. Cause we have crickets here that are like, like this big. So I think it was probably a cricket. That's my best guess. I don't know though. It's not my mouse. <laughs> so I don't think it's a tarantula. Tarantulas don't really get inside houses like that. Not that I've seen anyway. I've never had a tarantula in the tiny house.
It wasn't a scorpion. Our scorpions here are pretty small. You wouldn't you wouldn't see it like that. Also, the cockroaches aren't that. Big. I think it was a cricket. But I don't know. I don't mind. He's my new roommate. It looks like a scorp. Well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Would Mushy eat it? Uh, I don't. Th I've never seen him eat a bug. I don't think so. How are you gonna sleep tonight? Oh. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> that is not gonna affect my sleep at all. Um, I I love bugs. I don't care. I don't care. I've had spiders in my bed that I just don't move because I don't care. <laughs> the only thing that I care about in my house is fire ants. I have had fire ants come in my house through the dog door. It's very annoying. They go for the dog food. Um, and they bite me in my sleep. That sucks. I hate that. I don't like that. That pisses me off. Also, you think that fire ants would only bite when they're, like, caught some- You know, like, I- I forgive. I get it. If, like, I accidentally bend my hand and there's a fire ant in there and I don't know they're there and they're, like, getting squished so they bite me. A couple weeks ago, I had a fire ant crawl up my leg and just bite my thigh. Like, with no pressure on it whatsoever, it just crawled up my leg on blank skin and just bit my thigh. And I was like, what? for what? For why? I don't know. A velvet ant? Oh, I hope that wasn't a velvet ant. That would- I didn't- that looks huge. It looks huge. I don't know. Maybe it was on fire? No. How's your bruise? So bad. It's so funny. It's- it's so bad. <laughs> I wish I could show you, but I have long pants on and I can't- They're cuffed at the bottom, so I can't pull it up. And I don't want to go put shorts on, but it's like- it's- ugh, it's so funny. It's so bad. What happened? I was feeding Tripper, right? I was giving Tripper a horse cookie. I made this stupid decision for my car to be a cookie truck because I have horse cookies in my truck. Because I drive by the pasture and I stop on my way out and I, I give them cookies through the fence. And so I have cookies in my truck. And so I, I drive down and then the goats come up to me because they're like, oh, it's the cookie truck. Tracer, thank you for the five. And I thought that was cute for a while. And so I was like, yay, the cookie truck is here. And then the goats started getting too excited when I would drive down. So then they all swarmed my truck. And so I was feeding Tripper in front of me. And then Beetle went in between my legs and headbutted Tripper and yanked her head up as she was coming back through my legs. And so she got me in the thigh. That's what the thigh thing is. But then also, if I was a man, I'm so, I'm not even joking here. Connor would have had to go home. Tracer, thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, Connor would have Connor would have had to go home for the day. There's the pick. Yeah. So go ahead and tell me that women are too weak. To hold high power positions in office. I was fine. But if it was a dude, out for the day. Swear to God. It was rough. Would have affected fertility for sure. That's huge. I know. It's so bad. <laughs> It's so bad. It's so bad. So bad. Warp. Warp, Guys, a lot of you have been asking, what's the plan today? The plan is, uh, I am going to be live after this, but right now, <laughs> right now, the plan is simple. <laughs> Right now, uh, the plan is to shop El Pollo Loco for eight minutes. Um, El Pollo Loco has a stuffed quesadilla. And the best part is, with any purchase of $10.99 or more, you'll get a free stuffed quesadilla. To get yours, simply go to the menu in the app before you start an order, and then tap redeem promo code. Enter the code free 
D D I L L A. That'll unlock the offer, which will now show under available rewards when you go to check out. Wait, that's actually kind of crazy. You guys get a free case idea. Um, okay, we're going to look at it. Doo -doo -doo. We need to browse the menu here. Here's the thing about El Pollo Loco, guys. All right. I love, I love me a bean and cheese burrito. All right, that is my that is my go-to when I'm getting dude. Look at this glorious look at this glorious thing. Here's the nutrition info. 13 grams of protein, no meat. Are you kidding me? That's the dream. It's above my head. Oh, I'm blocking it. Look. Look at it. Look at this glorious burrito. Thank you for the five, Tracer. Incredible. Amazing. A kid's meal, perhaps? Well, oh my god. They have it with chips and salsa. Oh, that's a drink. Still 13 grams of protein. This would be my choice, if anyone was wondering. Delicious. Nachos? Oh, wow. They're not messing around. I don't, what's a tostada? Oh. Okay, kind of fun. Pollo fit. Extras. Chips. Tortilla soup. I love tortilla soup. Chips. Oh my god, here it is again. What's happening? Uh, a pollo loco. <laughs> Chips. Cinnamon churros. Are you kidding me? Chips again. Tortillas, corn tortillas, flour tortillas, chat, weigh in right now. Corn tortillas, flour tortillas, corn tortillas, flour tortillas. There's some mixed opinions. Corn tortillas, flour. I used to only be into flour tortillas, like in high school and college. Now I always pick corn. So I've kind of been on both sides. Are you actually getting some? Uh, no, I, I don't have, it's not just El Pollo Loco. I don't get delivery out here for anything. <laughs> so I will not be ordering tonight, um, but you can, okay? Um, you can click on the hamburger menu in the top left corner, which is Why does it say hamburger? I don't see that. Hamburger menu. Click on the hamburger menu in the top left corner, which if you look closely in the app, it's the churro menu. Are you okay? Why? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, and mobile. Oh, on mobile. I'm on desktop. Okay, interesting. Um, click on the redeem promo code. Enter pro free. Enter promo code free. Dia, D I L L A. This will unlock the free stuff quesadilla with a ten ninety nine dollar purchase offer. Add ten ninety nine dollars worth of items to cart along with desired stuffed quesadilla, and then in the cart under available rewards, apply the free stuffed quesadilla with a ten ninety nine purchase offer. Guys. You can get a free stuffed case. You can get a free stuffed quesadilla. Nice. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Okay, but I'm on the desktop version, so I can't see what they're trying to tell me to see. But here are their fire grilled combos. I'm gonna be honest, the only thing that I really want from here, uh, because I'm mostly vegetarian, is, uh, the bean rice and cheese burrito. Which is right there. Everything else looked good, looks good if I was down to eat meat. Like this though, this kids menu thing, and chips, and corn tortillas, yum. <laughs> but this kids menu, with the drink, 
and chips and a bean rice and cheese burrito that's it what do they have for drink oh look beans rice corn broccoli mac and cheese i was not expecting that <laughs> interesting mashed potatoes and gravy definitely was not expecting that one but hey who doesn't love mashed potatoes and gravy okay um a side salad coleslaw root beer cherry coke coca-cola diet coke dr pepper diet dr pepper fanta orange fused sweetened raspberry iced tea gold peak fresh brewed mango passion fruit iced tea gold peak fresh brewed unsweetened iced tea gold you get it wow ow oh my gosh what in the heck dude i just scratched the ins i actually just scratched the inside of my eyeball that was crazy okay <clears throat> anyway anyway um you guys uh if y'all haven't tried the stuffed quesadilla, you can get one for free. Okay? Wow, look, it popped up. It's incredible. Um, with any purchase of $10.99 or more, you can get a free stuffed quesadilla today by going to the menu in the app before you start an order and tapping the redeem promo code. Enter the code free dia that'll unlock the offer, which will now show up under available rewards when you go to check out. That's free food, folks. That is just free food. So, kind of a hard thing to turn down. Thank you, El Pollo Loco, uh, for the bounty. I now want a uh, bean rice and cheese burrito. Sounds incredible. Delicious. Maybe I'll go get one. I can't order it here tonight, but maybe tomorrow. And you can go get your own. Thank you. Thank you. Where do one for space? Okay. That is all. Thanks, guys. So, um, I have uh, withheld that my plan for night is to do a peepo candle. I withheld that information because I was hoping people wouldn't leave. But now, look, if you want to, I don't care. Thank you for watching the bounty. Um, but that is the plan tonight. I would not have been live this long talking about fuck all if I didn't F. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry that the intro was so long if you were waiting for a peepo candle. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh... We'll see how it goes. I don't know exactly how I feel about doing one today. I did practice a couple songs earlier, and I want to, but you know how it goes. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's not the night. Sometimes it is. Unfortunate thing is when I was practicing, I sang something very loud, and I can still feel it in my throat, which is not good. Is that a rat? Is there a rat in my house? I should get water. I have this beer, but I'm also gonna get water. Every time you hear me, the less that I cry. Microwave water? Should I? Should I microwave this water? drink hot water and beer tonight sounds delicious and have a lukewarm beer too even yum every time you walk out the less i love you baby we don't stand it that's a free preview What about it? Thoughts on a pet opossum asking for a friend? No. Get a cat. No pet opossums. 
All right. Let's try a classic. Um, we're going to get right into it. Welcome to the Peepo Candle if you've not been here before. Uh, this is a... It's a, it's a chill, cozy, comfy second monitor vibe. Um, if you want to stick around and get cozy, excellent. If you think it's cringe, totally get it, man. <laughs> totally get it. Me too, brother. Um, but here we go. Anyway. Got some wonder. Oh, the reverb's on? Iris? Goo Goo Dolls? Anybody? I think Sleeping with Sirens also does Iris. Touch you Cause I know that you feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven That I've been Stand by Home right now and All I can taste is this moment all I can breathe is your life <clears throat> Sooner or later it's over I just don't want to miss you tonight And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's meant to be broken I just want you Classic, a start. <clears throat> and you can't fight the tears that ain't coming. Sorry, I have to adjust everything. Talking and singing is very different in my setup. Everything feels like the movies. Yeah, you bleed just to know your life. And I don't want the world to see. Cause I don't think that they'd understand wow. When everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am Don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's made to be I just want you to know who I am I just want you to know who I am Just a little warm up, just a little warm up song Just with a warm up song Um the other one that's been stuck in my head today, for some reason, I don't know why, because it's not a song that I've heard in a very long time. Do you guys know the song, What About Us? By, uh, Pink? <laughs> yeah? I, it was stuck in my head today, and I think that I can make it really sad. I don't know if I've ever done it on a Peepo Candle before, but we're gonna give it a go. How much is your chair? Uh, not my hand-me-down. I have no idea, but it is a Herman Miller, so I think they're all expensive. <laughs> Search lights, we can see in the dark. It's $1,200? Pointed up at the stars. Okay, I would never spend twelve hundred dollars on a chair. I would not recommend that. Billions of beautiful hearts. I mean, it's a nice chair, but like twelve hundred dollars. Down the river too far. But this chair's so old too. Maybe it's like an old. I don't know. us. What about all the times you said you had the answer? What about us? What about all the broken happy ever afters? What about us? What about all the plans that ended in disaster? What about us? 
song is there a, i can try something usher but you got it bad doesn't sound like a mayo certified banger to me You got it bad, Usher. You got it bad. So far, I don't know this song. When you feel it in your body, you found somebody who Makes you change your ways like hanging with your crew. Said you act so far, like I still don't know the song. You don't really know. And everything in your past, you want to let it go. I've been there, done it, fucked around. <laughs> After all that alone, you got it bad. When you want it, hang up. I don't know the song. I'm so sorry. When did it come out? Two thousand one. Two thousand one. Guys, I was like three. <laughs> I wasn't listening to Usher. Uh, I can do, uh... Ugh, this is the only... Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. What the heck? Um... It's too early to do this song, but this is the only Usher song I think I've ever tried to do. <laughs> Thank you for the five! Dude, I can't do- this is my third song, I can't do this song right now. Maybe later in the stream. 
Thank you, the five. so much thank you thank you thank you um you know what song i really want to do that i can't because it's too early and it's too high but also i just said i couldn't do that song and it was kind of fine so hanshin thank you for the prime i kind of want to try this but i've never tried it and i actually don't know how to go it's just a tiktok song it's called uh what are you doing now it's by sadie jean do you guys know the song I, I don't know it very well, so, and I've never tried to do it on stream, so we'll see. Hansel, or thank you for the bed, Speechy. Wasn't really you, though, cause you were always in the front row. Looking for love online, some of them are really little good guys. Never gonna be like you, though, set the bar above the mood, so. I don't wanna be twenty something. Still in my head about seventeen in my bedroom talking. Said goodbye and now we'd paint the walls of our shared apartment. Still everything I wanted. Think we could work it out. What are you doing now? You guys recognize that one? I don't know how the verses go. Wonder if you want to call to The future doesn't feel so far Doesn't seem as wrong to want what's ours After everything that's happened Wanna put it in past tense Cause I don't wanna be twenty-something Still in my head about Seventeen in my bedroom talking Jeez, that is so high, damn it something else that's way too high do you know any oh yeah let me do this and then i'll do that stores thank you for the five um and ham i will try to i'll do a best best deal song in a second she does this so damn high she does everything so damn high it's so frustrating <clears throat> this is a new billy song this is what was i made for for barbie huh i just saw barbie I'm sorry. I knew it was high, but I didn't know it was that high. Give me a second.
Put it down a little bit. It's not going very good. Okay, um, Bastille, what is, Pompeii, is that the one everyone knows? How does this go? Okay, but I'm gonna make it a little sad. <laughs> This is so high now. doing it this high. I just, I want it to be lower. Here, here's a little. Let's see, hold on, stand by. Bye. 
Thanks, subs. Appreciate it. Lonely days fall away. What's that all around us? So easy on me. Yeah, I'm using reverb. Reverb, except it's not on right now. I'm just Ken. I don't really want to sing that song. There's not much like... I don't know that that's the vibe. I'm sure I do know you're going to go far by Noah Khan. I'm just Ken. I've seen several people say little talks. Is that the one that goes like... Sure. A piano version though, huh? <clears throat> little talks of monsters and men. I don't like walking around this old and empty house. So hold my hand I'll walk with you, my dear. Sands Creek, as you sleep, is keeping me awake. Is the house tell you to close your eyes? I can't even dress myself. It's killing me to see you this way. Though the truth may vary, this ship will carry our body. Safe to shore. Don't listen to oh, too early. This is just an instrumental. Oh, old voice in my head that's holding me back. Tell her that I miss our little talks. Soon it will be over and buried with our past. We used to play outside when we were young full of life and full of love i don't know if i am wrong or right mind is playing tricks on you my dear and though the truth may vary this ship will carry our bodies safe to shore don't listen to what i say streams all sound same. Though the truth may vary, this ship will carry our bodies safe to shore. The truth may vary, this ship will carry our bodies safe to shore. <clears throat> I don't really like singing that one. It's good to try because I like never do but thank you uh kurt and dr van delay thank you guys about this one
Hmm. I want to sing the harmony for the song as a chorus and see what it sounds like. <clears throat> Willow. Thank you. Been told, I've been told to get you off my mind. I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind Oh my lord, oh my lord, I need you by my side Cause there must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder And if only I could hold you You keep my head from going under That's the melody, stand by Get you off my mind But I hope I never lose your bruises That you left behind Oh my lord, oh my lord I need you by my side There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder But if only I could hold So far, not feeling any songs that I've done. So I'm gonna need a new direction. One direction, anybody? <laughs> One direction, anybody? Um, best thing about tonight so we're not fighting. Ow! Sorry. Ow. Pop smoke. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. You better never let it go. To you, I'm just a man. I've seen a couple of people say, uh, secondhand serenade fall for you <laughs> you guys know that song it's worth a it's worth a go we can give it a good go what do you think <laughs> a classic <clears throat> my middle school jam this is my high school gym old <laughs> Sing about tonight so we're not fighting Could it be that we have been this way before? I know you don't think that I am trying I know you're wearing thin down to the core But hold your breath Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again Don't make me change my mind I won't live to see another day, I swear it's true Cause a girl like you's impossible to find You're impossible to find This is not what I intended Always swore to you I'd never fall apart He said more angst I always thought that I was stronger Stronger From the start But hold your breath Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again Don't make me change 
change my mind I won't live to see another day I swear it's true Cause a girl like you is impossible to find You're impossible Breathe in so deep Breathe me in I'm yours to keep To hold on to your words Cause talk is cheap That's a song Remember me tonight When you're asleep Maybe we should try that one. Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. <laughs> More angst. Don't make me change my mind. I won't live to see another day. <laughs> I swear it's true. <laughs> it's impossible to find. Possible. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again I won't live to- my brains aren't long enough I swear it's true Cause a girl like you is impossible to find- now I fucked it up Okay, do you guys know that song Talk is Cheap? You know what I'm talking about? I think it's Chet, Chet Fager. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. It's been a long time since I've heard the song. I've also never tried this karaoke, so I don't know if this is even an okay instrumental. I need to see the lyrics now. So you're weak, Ryan. You doubt or bother. Reading into it, I probably won't have to my own devices. But that's the difference in our opinions. Your mouth full, that amounts full. Another week of Now I'm a novel, made resourceful. Start a chair with my thoughts Talk is cheap, my darling Feeling right at home I wanna make you move with confidence I wanna be with you alone Let me help you start it You're way too comfortable to know When out those words You gotta feel it on your own I was trying to do it an octave up, and then the chorus was way too high, and then I was screaming. It's kind of a fun one, though. I have to pee soon. Can you do Slipknot? I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think so. It's a blue moon. Oh, hallucinogenics? Dude. <laughs> sure. There's a funny story behind that that I won't tell. <clears throat> Is there a not acoustic? Past the limit, tripping on a hallucinogenics. A cigarette burned my finger because I forgot a little. Ripping with my sinus, cause fuck it, man, I ain't no beginner. <clears throat> then I crawl back to the life that I said I wouldn't live in. 
But I just couldn't open up I'm always shifting Go find yourself a man who's strong and tall and Christian Past the limit, tripping on a loose in the tennis. <laughs> a cigarette from my finger, cause I forgot I lit it. Thank you. Drunk in Seattle, two more Zanza without a paddle. Can't remember your face or your hair, or your name, or your smile. Cause I just couldn't open up, I'm always shifting Go find yourself a man who's strong and tall and Christian Push past the limit, tripping on a hallucinogenic <coughs> Sure The funny story to the song is that the last guy I dated, this was our song, and then I broke up with him for a drug problem, <laughs> amongst, there were, amongst other things. He's a great guy, I do like him, but it's just kind of ironic. Cause... Anyway. Just the way you ran, my bloodshot eyes and my shaky hands, cause I carried on like the way you Itching. Push past the limit, tripping on a loose in a genus. Cigarette for my. Mush. Mush. Goodness. He said location by Khaled. Um, I have this. I have a, I have an acoustic guitar version. Rock Lobster. Think of it the tier one. Send me your location let's focus on communicating i just need the time and place to come through thank you for the five send me your location let's ride the vibrations i just need no one else but you Time to wonder why I fool with you This is new to me This is new to you initially Didn't wanna fall for you Gather my attention, it was all for you So don't take advantage Don't leave my heart damaged I understand that things go A little bit better when you plan it Won't you send me your location let's focus on communicating i just need the time and place to come through <laughs> i literally just saw virtual's message and i was like okay rude and then i saw it. <laughs> nothing else but you what's up tweet so Let's get personal I got a lot of cool spots that we could go Tell me what's the move and I got you I'm only acting like this cause I like you Give me the vibes to slide then I'm gonna make you mine by the night And don't you send me your location Let's focus on communicating I just need the time and place to come through Oh, send me 
your location let's ride the vibration i just need no one else but you ride 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 come and vibe with me tonight i don't need nothing else but you Let's focus on communicating I just need the time and place to come through <clears throat> That was a fun one That was Seductive Walrus's request Thank you Dude, this has to stop Bang's really pissing me off Pissing me off. Like, why aren't they just straight? Why aren't they straight? Why aren't they straight? Why aren't they straight? Why aren't they just... I could just go no bang and stop dealing with this, but I don't want to. See, now that I went no bang when I had bang, now my forehead looks really big. Anyway, next. <clears throat> Summer has gone and bam. I'm looking for something kind of fun. I'm looking for something fun. Looking for something fun. Uh 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 oh. Make it count, play it straight, don't look back, don't hesitate when you go big time. Hmm. What about that Post Malone song that I don't know? <laughs> Feeling Whitney? Tragedy. All right, sorry. Let's do another, another one. Do a different one. I don't know it. I will always love you. Thank you for the fifty-one months. <laughs> Tier three. Thank you so much. <clears throat> God. 
different one I need I need something different I do oh, I don't know that song I'm sorry mm -hmm. You know what's a song that's super, super hard pitch-wise that I've never tried to do, but is not boring? I don't think I can sing this song, I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's worth a shot. I don't need to say what song it is. You would not. <laughs> would not believe your eyes. Ten million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep. I can't take this one seriously. They fill the open air. Leave teardrops everywhere. You think more angst. I would just stand and stare. <laughs> was that? was that? Like to make myself believe that planet Earth turns slowly. It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. Is never as it seems when I fall asleep. We're doing another one. too early taken islands why we mistaken but you see it's not me it's not my family in your head in your head they are fighting with their tanks and their bombs and their guns in your head in your head they are crying in your head in your head zombie 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 in your
Is this enough? Reverb? <clears throat> How can you see into my eyes like open doors? Leading you down into my core where I've become so numb without a soul. Spirit sleeping somewhere cold Till you find it there in back home Wake me up inside Maybe the three months I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind There was something so pleasant about that place Gave me emotion at an echo, so much space I could do Taylor Swift, I don't know Stone Sour When you're out there without carrier, I was out of touch but it wasn't because I didn't know enough Thank you for the five! I just knew too much That made me crazy Does that make me crazy? I don't know that one either Does that make me crazy? And I hope having the time of your life. Whoops. <laughs> but think twice. That's my only advice. Who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? Bless your soul Think you're in control But I think you're crazy I think you're crazy Thank you for the five. I think you're crazy. Just like me. No reverb. I don't know how this verse goes. On a Be like that. The reverb's gone. The auto-tune's gone. La -pa -pa -pa. Oh, the song's over. <laughs> oh! Since I was little, ever since I was little, it looked like fun. And it's no coincidence of come. I'm making it up. I can die when I'm done. Ooh. Maybe I'm crazy Maybe I'm crazy I don't know that song either I'm really crazy Um, 
I'm so sorry. Okay, so on today on songs that I don't know is all of them. Um, I don't know Stone Sour Through Glass, but then they said turn a T Swift song angsty, which okay, we can try. Uh, I don't know Medley 2.0, and I don't know Black Sheep. What Taylor Swift song should we turn angsty? I have to know it. Also, I don't know that we can turn it angsty. Uh oh, I'm not supposed to click links. If this is gonna be a live learn, I'm not. It's probably not gonna happen. I'm really sorry. I, I. Nope, that is not what I was supposed to... Uh, this is not a clickable link. You could only see the way oh, I do know that. She loves me. Maybe you'd understand. See ya. Fight the break good time. Come tomorrow. Actually, I don't know that. I only know the beginning. Um, it's 18 songs in one. Oh, well. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, what's a Taylor Swift song? Sorry. Sorry, it was cutie. Ignore. Um, shoot. God, I don't, I don't know any of these songs. It's a problem, it's a problem, it's a problem. I, do I know this song? No, I don't. Damn it. <laughs> um. Frick. What about this one? I can do the chorus of this song. Does that count? It's not going to be angsty, though. That's all I got. I don't know the song very well. It's a river river remix. Sorry. I want to dance with somebody by Whitney Houston. I can do that one. I can do that one really sad. It's been a minute. Or, 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 I could sing, um, Uh, I don't know. <coughs> At last. <laughs> At last, my love has come along. 
My lonely days are over. And life is like a song. You want that? <laughs> okay, at last. At last, karaoke. It's it should be easy peasy. This is easy for me. If this isn't easy for you, it's just skill issues. It's really easy for me. I don't know how the rest of the song goes. <laughs> Does anybody? Is that offensive? I actually don't know. I only know the beginning. All right, a similar vibe in the same vein. Let's just do all the easy songs. Let's just get all the easy songs out of the way. What do you think? This is If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. <laughs> Zach, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Some people live for the fortune. Some people live for the fame. Some people live for the power. Yeah. People live to play the game. Some people think that the physical things define what's within And I've been there before But that life's a poor so full of the superficial Some people want it all, but don't want nothing that's not how the song's supposed to go, but I physically cannot do it how it's supposed to go. You want another, um, you want another one, um, Um, what's another song that's really easy? What's another really easy song? Evergreen. <laughs> mm. Oh, ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. A classic easy song. Here is I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Please enjoy. 
the easy part. Chili bees, sugar. <laughs> Another easy song that I will perform for you is My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Please enjoy. If you're ever in this situation, survival of the fittest. You know what I mean? It's when I loved you One true time I hold to In my life it will always go on Me
That boy Pat, thank you for the year. Mike Dawnblade, L Dower, Chili Bees Trigger, thank you for the five gifted subs. Guys, I, there was just a few easy songs in my repertoire. I just wanted to throw them out there as warm up songs for my next song, which is All I Want for Christmas Is You. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas There is just one thing I need Don't care about the presents Eat the Christmas tree just want you for my own More than you could ever know Make my wish come true I don't want a lot for Christmas There is just one thing I need I... For my own More than you could... Oh Santa Claus will make me happy Tim and Tim And other easy songs. Um, here's like, if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of falling off right now. Uh, here's Love on the Brain by Rihanna. <laughs> Got me like, oh. I'm gonna try. What you want from me? <clears throat> the song's so hard though. The, the, the riffs in the song are stupid. You know what? I'm focusing. She goes on the song. And can't be like go. What you for me? Try to buy pretty hard, but the price too high. Baby, you got me like who? When I fall apart So you can put me together And throw me against the wall Baby, you got me like high High Don't you stop loving me Chili beet sugar, thing with five Loving me and babe, I'm just fine with fire just to get those to you. A new Naki, thank you for the nine months. Taste must be love on the break. It's got me feeling this way. I need to focus. I'm bored and I'm like jumping and I'm not focusing. I'm just like being dumb. I need to focus. <laughs> I'm focusing, I'm focusing, I'm focusing. You're right, I should do chandelier. Don't get hurt, can't feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, 
heart I don't want to you guys want to go angsty here's I see red by everyone loves an outlaw this is the last one and then we actually focus okay we're focusing after this Time to get mad. <clears throat> Did you really think I'd just forgive and forget? No, to catch you with her, blood sugar on cold, so cold. Too time and cheap like you wanna be your fool If you thought that I'd just let this go I say right, right, oh right I don't sound very angry <laughs> Okay, I want to try to sound angry. Right now, he's probably slow dancing with a beach blonde tramp, and she's probably getting frisky. Now it's probably buying her some fruity little drink cause she can't shoot whiskey. <clears throat> Damn it. With a pool stick showing her how to shoot a combo. And he don't know that I dug my key into the side of this pretty little souped up four wheel drive. I can't sound angry. I don't I Apparently, I'm incapable of sounding angry when I sing, which I guess is not a secret or is not news, but it's not happening. Guys, it's time to focus up. It's time to focus up. Because we only got a couple more songs in us today. We're getting on to five. I do what if I do like a what if there's a scary instrumental we're not focusing dark instrumental trap beat already dead trap beat what the fuck is this Scary. Ew, I hate, hate, hate. Um, spooky beat. Probably my spookiest beat. For. It's not bad though. Am 
am I gonna, is my computer gonna break? Can you please sing Juice World? I still see your shadows in my room. Like that? Like this? Isn't that Juice World? <clears throat> Man, what? This shit funny. One sec. Oof, this Hennessy. Told me put my heart in a bag and nobody gets hurt. Now I'm running from her love. I'm not fast, but I'm making it worse. Now I'm digging up a grave for my past. I'm a whole different person It's a gift and a curse But I cannot reverse it I can't reverse it No, 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 no no, no. I still see shadows in my room Can't take back the love that I gave you It's to the point that I love and I hate you And I cannot change you so I must replace you Easier said than done, I thought you were the one Listening to my heart instead of my head you know the thing about Juice World is he like intentionally sounds flat and sings the same note over and over, so it just sounds, sounds kind of dumb when I do it. I love and I hate you and I cannot change you, so I must replace you. Rate my Juice World karaoke one to ten. What the hell? Zero? Four? You didn't let- she told me to put my heart in a bag! You didn't like that? Fat zero? Okay, haters, whatever. Whatever, dude. Chili Beast Trigger- see? Chili Beast Trigger liked it. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I was scared it was actually you're gonna get banned or something. Put your loving hand out, baby. Cause I'm I'm begging, begging you Put your loving hand out, baby I'm begging, begging you Put your loving hand out, darling Riding high when I was king Played it hard, had everything Do you guys think I can make this song sad? Because I bet I could Now the song is not like begging, begging. Now the song is like someone who lost the love of their life and they're begging for them back. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> Put your loving hand out, baby. Cause I'm begging. Begging, begging you Put your loving hand out, baby I'm begging, begging you Put your loving hand out, darling Riding high when I was king Played hard and fast, 
Pixies, I had everything. I walked away, she warned me then. But easy come and easy go, and it would end. Need you, you let me go, yeah. Anytime feature, you get me now. Anytime see you, you let me go. When I planted the seed, just let me grow. And I'm on my knees while I'm begging, cause I don't wanna lose you. Put your loving hand out, baby. I'm begging, begging you. Put your loving hand out, baby. Begging, begging you. It's actually not as sad as I expected it to be. I thought it would be sadder. More sad. Playing video games. I don't know if I've ever tried this song. I don't want to sing this song, it's too sad. <laughs> I set out on a narrow way Many years ago Take me to church? You wanna hear what it sounds like when I sing Take Me to Church? This is probably the least serious people candle I've ever done in my life. This is what it sounds like. In the original key. <clears throat> Love's got humor. You're at a funeral and everybody's disapproval. Shipped her sooner. If the heavens ever did speak, she's the strewn mouthpiece. <coughs> Fresh poison each week. We were born sick, but I love it. My church offers no absolute loose. <coughs> I was born sick, but I love it. Man, me to be well. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Take me to church. I worship like a dog at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife Offer me that death, this death And good God, let me give you my life Take me to church, I worship like a dog The shrine of your lies I'll tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife Offer me that death, this death And good God, let me give you my life <laughs> Drain the whole sea, do something shiny. Or what you got in the stable? We got a lot of starving faithful. That looks tasty, that looks plenty. This is hungry work. Take me to church, I worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. I'll tell you my sins, and you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that death, the death, and good God, let me give you my life. Take me to church, I worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. I'll tell you my sins, and you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that death, the death, and good God, let me give you my life. No masters or kings when the ritual begins. There is no sweeter innocence than our gentle sins. And the madness and soil of that sad earthly sea, only then I am human. Only then.
to church. All right, I'm sick of it. I've done it like three times. I'm over it. Have you done evergreen today? No, why? <laughs> why do you ask? If you don't come to People Candles very often, I would like to present to you the easiest song that I do on these streams. <clears throat> it's called Evergreen, it's by Yaba. Kiss my penny and threw it in. I prayed I keep my soul. Went down to the river where the water ends. The only place I know. Oh, I can see the forest for the trees. So will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? Standing at the water's edge <clears throat> Hold your current in my hands Something like that You bring them into my moments <laughs> Oh, I can't see the forest for the trees so will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? My green You should hear the riff she does on that. You guys want to hear the riff she does on that? The one that I just did. I went green. I don't know where it is. Think about the five. I really thought she did it there, so I don't know where it is. Anyway, it's like stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so crazy. Thank you so much for the five. Yeah, her voice is disgusting, dude. I don't know where it is. I have listened to Haley Reinhardt. You know, Haley Reinhardt does a song that I really like. What is it? It's no, not Hallelujah. Not Benny and the Jets. 
She did House of the Rising Sun? Should we do House of the Rising Sun? There is a house. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Wow, there's so much instrumental. Like, so much. Well, I don't know how this part goes. I only know the part that everybody knows. I have done... Unless it's the same. Your lives in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun. Mediocre, thank you for the thank you for the sub, thank you for the sub. Um, I'm looking through my recommended here. There's this one. If we're doing some like if we want to do some like older stuff. <sighs> you guys know the song probably is Valerie. Sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. Think of all the things, what you're doing And in my head I paint a picture Since I've come home, well my body's been a mess And I miss your tender hair and the way you like to dress Won't you come on over, stop making a fool out of me Why don't you come on over, Valerie So you have to go to jail Put your house on up for sale Did you get a good lawyer? Hope you didn't catch a tan Hope you find the right man Who'll fix it for you Are you shopping anywhere? Change the color of your hair Or are you busy? 
you have to pay that fine You was dodging all the time, are you still dizzy? So I've come on home, well my body's been a mess And I miss your ginger hair and the way you like to dress Won't you come on over, stop making a fool out of me why don't you come out of the battery? Spring, your voice is soft as summer rain, and I cannot compete with you, Jolene. He talks about you in his sleep. There's nothing I can do to keep from crying when he calls your name, Jolene. Thank you. And I easily understand how you can easily take my man But you don't know what he means to me, Jolene Jolene, 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 Jolene I'm begging of you, please don't take my man Jolene, 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 Jolene is this song? Where's Ain't No Sunshine? Bill Withers? Oh! Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone She's always gone too long Anytime she goes away And at this time I wish she's gone And if she's gone to stay Ain't no sunshine when she's gone In this house she stayed no home Anytime she goes away I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. What about this song? This is just the intro, it's not the song. <laughs> Everyone chill. Hotel California, anybody? born in 95 excuse me relax I was born in 98 
up ahead in the distance Saw a shimmering light Heavy in my sight grew dim I had to stop for the night As she stood in the doorway Heard the mission bell I was thinking to myself This could be heaven or this could be hell I'm really trying hard to find a song that I want to sing. I really am trying. So now let's try a classic. Uh, these boots are made for walking. These these boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Okay, everybody stop, everybody relax. I'm doing one more song, and it's, I'm actually gonna do the whole thing, because I'm sure it's like actually so fucking annoying to watch me just not finish any songs. I can't imagine. I don't, oh my god, I'm so mad. I don't know Purple Rain, I'm so sorry. I know of it, but I don't know the song itself. I'm really sorry. It's great for Zoomer brands. Oh, right. This is the last one. The last one. And I'm gonna pick an easy one so I actually finish it. Which way can I go? Anyway. I'm back in. What's your Twitch? What do you mean? Look like songs I don't feel like singing this bad. I wanna sleep. You going to here, I said this one before, and it's a classic, and I know that I can do the whole song, so I'll do this whole song, and this is going to be the last one. This is I Want to Dance with Somebody, Whitney Houston, except really sad. It's upon the hour, and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. Take a chance 
On a love that burns hard enough to last With hope Lonely heart calls Oh, I wanna dance with somebody That's so much louder I wanna feel the heat with somebody Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody with somebody who loves me Oh, I wanna dance with somebody I wanna feel here with somebody yeah, I wanna dance with somebody With somebody who loves me Somebody who loves me Voice is just so tired. I'm tired and my voice is really tired and I was really poop. Guys, this is not the best people candle, if I'm being honest. If I'm being totally honest, uh, this is not my best work. But I hope you had fun regardless. Hey, one people candle. Um, it's been two weeks since the last one. That's better than a month. Huh? We take <laughs> we take those. Hey, it's not so bad. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, it was not good. I'm actually sorry. I definitely don't feel great about it, but it's fine. I had a good time. It was some fun experimenting, you know? Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna raid Alveus. I will see you guys on Tuesday on the Alveus channel, um, for P.O. Box, okay? Uh, thank you for the gifted subs today. Thank you for subbing today. Thank you for the follows today. Thank you for watching today. Um, on Alveus? No, sorry. See you on the... Uh, P.O. Box on my channel on Tuesday for Alveus. Same old. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. See you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Good night. Good night. I have to pee so bad. Remember a while ago when I was like, I'm gonna have to pee soon. I just decided not to. I have to pee so bad. It's actually crazy. So. Ow. Oh. Goodbye, everybody. Good night, 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 good night. Goodbye.